Hey guys, Karis Fifi, another review. This time I'll be reading the deluxe Dead Man's Vice stamp set from Conrad Revice. This is a premium Bond exclusive set containing three Vice stamps belonging to the Dead Man's, the initial villains of the series. The set includes the Wolf Pro Vice stamp, Daioika Pro Vice stamp, and Gift Jr. Vice stamp. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at the Wolf Pro Vice stamp. Now with this and the Dioica Pro Vice stamp, they have an interesting trait to where, even though they have the same basic shape as all other standard Vice stamps, they don't have a rider relief mold onto them, and instead of having a clear front cover, instead use a metallic painted one. So for Wolf, it's got a nice little metallic purple with a white wolf on top of it. Got the stamp imprint right there. Got the back and whatnot. For sounds, it's got a little bit more on its own than most vice stamps. So, obviously pressing mine, you get the activation. And when you stamp it, it features the transformation of the Wolf Dead Man. Additionally, if you press and hold the button, it'll actually switch to a voice mode for the character. And then if you press the button on top afterwards, you get four voice, li four voice lines. And that doesn't affect the stamping sound. And then switch it back, you just press and hold the button again. Next, we have the Dioika, or Big King Squid Vice Stamp. This one uses a metallic blue-green and has a silver squid on it. You can see the nice design there. You stamp it around the bottom. And the way this thing works is similar to the way that the Wolf Pro Vice Stamp works. So, you have the activation sound. Then you press the stamp for the transformation of the Dioika, Dead Man. And then we can switch to voice mode. And press mode again to switch back. And third among them is the Gift Junior Vice Stamp. So this one is pretty unique in that it's got this pretty uniform all gray color. It also has this kind of carved look to it with a bit of a brown wash paint to really highlight all the lines and details of the pattern. And you see the stamp print there, which looks similar but not identical to the design on the top. Now, something unique about this is that this only has sounds in it. And it's the only one to have a generic stamping sound, as this is used to summon grunts. However, because of the lack of lights, it actually has a lot more sounds. So there are actually two different voice modes. First, it has 24 voice lines from Aguilera, the Dead Man's leader. I 
生まれてきた意味はピエンギフ様にいつになったら会えるのピエンよく頑張りましたけどあなたはまだ悪夢を埋めそうね上級契約完了早く世界中のみんなをギフ様の家族にして幸せになってほしいな知ってるでしょ私命令されるのは嫌いなのため息をつくと幸せが逃げるよ教えない力のない人間の言葉は虚なしく響くだけデッドマンズに入ればその力手に入るかもよつまんないのつまんないふりを変えろ面白くない冗談ねオルテカーフリオ帰るよー寄付様の声が聞こえる生贄にえ回収ピエンあなたいい生贄にえになりそうえい and, by the being, and then if you press one more time You get a combined voice line mode where you get some sequences of lines from all three characters. And there are six in total. And of course, back to the beginning. Now, while the sounds these make on their own is all well and good, what's nice about these is that you can also use them with other devices, meaning you can get lights and sounds out of these v i c e stamps that were never seen on the show. So, it's kind of a little bonus. Next up, we'll be using them with the revised driver, starting with the Wolf Pro v i c e stamp. And then we get the Revised Driver Wolf Transformation, which has a completely different format than a standard vice stamp. You also see the nice print pattern of the wolf on the other side. So next, we'll do the Dead Man's Finish. Then the Remix. Then the Dioica Pro Stamp. Then 
Now we get the Dioica transformation. And once again, the nice print pattern on either side. So, then the Dead Man's Finish. And the remix. And after that, the Gift Junior stamp. And this one has a very different transformation sound than other Vice stands because it's not even in the form of a rap, more of an announcement. But you can see that it made a red light color when it connected to the driver. And you can see the stamped image there, which actually fills a lot more of the screen with black than a lot of other Vice stamps do, honestly. So then we have the Dead Man's Finish. and the remix. The other important belt to use these with would be the Demon's Driver for some Genomixes. And then we use a Demon's Requiem. And finally, we'll use the stamps with the Owen Buster for the weapon finishers.
And there we go. So while this set came out a few months back, the reason why this review is so late is because I actually only recently got it. Haven't missed the initial pre-order. But I'm very glad I do have this. Because this is honestly a fantastic set. It's definitely cool that these have a large selection of stamps that they can make on their own since these were only used there on their own in the show. So we get the interesting unique sounds of the activations and the transformations as well as all the different voice lines. And I definitely like that they took advantage of how there aren't any lights in the Gift Junior Vice Stamp to give a lot of voice lines including combined ones. But what really pushes this set over the top for me is the cross compatibility. The fact that you can use this with things like the device driver for unique and original transformations where they even created their own different format for how the sounds goes is absolutely amazing because this is the kind of thing that was never seen on the show and was probably never going to be seen but they actually put in the effort to make these stamps unique when used with the other devices. So you really are going to be getting a lot out of this. And it's cool just having this notion of these toys with this kind of functionality that is unique and the kind of thing you don't see in the series itself. Honestly, this is a premium buy nice set, but if you can find a good price and have a vice driver, I would highly recommend picking this up, absolutely. Next time I'll be reading Deluxe Tiger Dora. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe to the bell icon. And for now, this is Care of Sifty, riding off.